How you guys doing? Mike the Coder here. Today we're going to go over increasing arrays. So basically you're given an array of n integers. You want to change this array so that each element is increasing. So in one move you could increase the value of one element by one. Now what is the question is uh, what is the minimum number of moves required? So what do I mean by that? Um, so let's actually get a picture and put in paint first because uh, I now have my pen, so I could actually do this really fast and explain the input for these problems. So let's say we have this array. Uh, I think this is co-crop. And hold up, let me just real quick do this real quick. So let's say we have this array of uh, five, two, so three, two, five, one, seven. So what what we want to do is we want to um, find the minimum minimum moves minimum minimum number of moves to make this increasing so when they say increasing they're not actually mean like one is like larger than the other one they mean that um so that every element is at least as large as the previous one so what that means is like in this case i could change this two into a three right and then this then um this would take one move right it would take one move so that's one move and then this five um, since it's already greater than three, so I could just leave that alone. Then if I want to increase this, uh, this uh, make this increasing, so what do I do? So one is less than five. So in order to make this increasing, I have to add probably four. I need to add four to make it into five, right? So then I, it, this becomes five. So then our final array and the number of moves that this actually took was a plus four, by the way, because we had to e increase this L number one four times in order to get it to equal to five, right? We had to increase this number one four times. So that's why each move has like a cost of one to do each move. So that's why that's the case. So, um, yeah, so our final array would be three, three, five, five, seven, right? Three, three, five, five, seven. And this is now increasing, right? All the values are increasing. They're at least either the same as the previous one or they're increasing. So because of this, what is now the uh, total cost? The total cost this did was one plus four, which is going to be five. So now the minimum cost was, answer was five. So how do you do this problem? A simple way is to either keep increasing it by one. So keep increasing it by one um, to make it either equal to the previous element, right? Equal to the previous element if it's less than it. So in this case, uh, for two, I increased it by one once, so I got three, so that, that did a plus one. And for this number one, I increased it by one four times to, to get to get it to five, because I wanted this one to equal to this five, right? I wanted this to equal to that, so I increased it four times to get five. So then in, there, in the end, our array is increasing. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this problem. Um, I'll just show you guys the code now because I actually got AC'd on this one go. So here's the code. It's actually not that difficult. So the first part is just reading in the array. So read in N, read in, create the array D, just reads in it. So um, the cost for each count, I'm gonna have equal to X, right? Equal to X. And I'm just gonna loop from one to the end of the array. So I'm gonna loop from this one, I'm gonna loop all the way to the end of the array. And what I'm gonna do is um, if my current value is smaller than the previous one, so this two is smaller than this three, right? So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna have this, the difference, I'm gonna get the difference of each of them. So in order to increase this two to become three, I'm gonna take the absolute value of two minus three or you could do three minus two. Um, regardless, that's the number of moves it would take increasing each element by one, increasing this element by one to get it to the same one as the previous one. So I just subtract it. So I did absolute value of the array minus the previous one and take the absolute value of that. And then um, then I'm gonna increase my cost. So my cost is X currently, right? So I'm gonna, this is the total number of moves. I'm just gonna take X plus equal to new value, okay? Then, um, this is just to make sure that I update the array. Um, you don't have to, because they're just asking you for the the cost, right? The total minimal number of 
minimum number of uh, moves it takes to do it. So to do that, I just did, uh, you just have to do x plus equal to this new value of the absolute value of the difference to get it to equal to it. And then you just print it out, print out x. So here, I, I actually modified the array to make it plus equal to new value. You could do that if you want to actually change this 2 to become a 3 and change this 1 to become a 5. That, I'll do that. But um, yeah, you don't actually have to do this. This is just like this part of modifying the array. That's just like extra work. But yeah, um, that's pretty much the gist of the code because all we have to do after that, we just have to print out the number of moves of x, which is our cost. So that's the thing we're doing. So yeah, um, yeah, that's all the moves that we took. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy this video. It's not that hard. Um, this problem is not that hard. Um, I know you guys ask if I should uh, post the code. Um, the code is actually not that difficult. Like, uh, like the only thing you need to know is just hashtag define ll long long. And I'm using that for these values. You could use integer, I think, or whatever. I just like to use long long because like, uh, yeah, it's just easier to do it. Um, I think it's better if I use better variable names for x, but this is just the gist of the code. So yeah, read in the array. Um, if it's smaller than the previous one, we're just going to add equal to the difference between the two values, and then we're just going to print it. So we're going to, yeah, that's basically it. That's the total of that. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.